welcome to my bed. I'm gonna say new bedroom because I'm gonna show you my old bedroom tour because I found lost footage from a year ago that I never uploaded. On a side note, if you haven't subscribed to me, click the little button down below. It should be red and say subscribe if you haven't subscribed. It won't be red if you've already subscribed, but click it if you haven't. Follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all those places to see other sneak peeks of things throughout my life. But this part that I never showed anybody was the house tour from my old house, and I just forgot to upload it. Like, this is from a year ago, so you're gonna see candy with bright red fiery hair from a year ago, and I'm finally showing you this video. I don't even know how many other videos I probably have forgotten to upload, but you're gonna see this one now. So this is gonna be my old, my old room, which, I pretty much, I mean I decorated myself. I'm not like an interior designer or anything, but pretty much all the accessories are from like Marshalls or Home Goods <laughs> in there. And then like a couple of things I got done, like my headboard I had done in that custom um, baby pink color, because you could just pick out the color you want. And I was like, I want that baby pink. It wasn't custom really, it just, it was an option to do the pink in there. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you guys my room tour. It was like my favorite room and then just watching the video, I was like, oh my gosh, I filmed so many videos in that bedroom. I just love watching it. So you guys are finally gonna get to see the full tour of my um, my bedroom and my bathroom at my old house. And then this house is not done. As you can see, see these green tapes up here? I'll fill you guys in. So the Design Network is doing a show and they're going to, they asked if I wanted my room made over, my this bedroom and then like my office studio filming area. So they're going to decorate those. And then Kelly Ellis is an amazing designer on Bravo and all different TV shows. She's coming in here to decorate things and she has marked the walls to be painted and I'm so, I'm like so nervous because like I'm super like more fearless in my clothing style but then for like my home interiors I like it really traditional and like just traditional, total opposite of how I dress. But like it makes me nervous, like the colors, I'm like, are you sure that's gonna be okay? <laughs> so if you guys follow along, you can watch the show. I'll put all the links to everywhere you can follow them along and see. There's gonna be a bunch of giveaways. I think one person is gonna get like a, a room kind of makeover budget to decorate their room. Maybe Kelly's gonna help you decorate. Um, Kelly Ellis is amazing. She's on all different TV shows, Bravo, everywhere, designing celebrity homes and things. So she's awesome. I don't know, there's a bunch of giveaways. So I'll put the links to follow them everywhere and you can help like help us pick things out because I just, I'm really nervous about my headboard. I just kind of want it to stay and I know she has a new one picked out. So I think it's, if you want to buy anything that they show too, because she's going to be like showing what she's picking, you can go to thedesignnetwork.com forward slash blog forward slash candy shop and that's where she's going to be putting all the things that we're going to have to pick from. <laughs> so you can help me pick along on Pinterest, you can like like or share the stuff and give me your comments on what you guys think of. I'm so nervous. So I will show you guys the final room tour of my new bedroom when it's done. Totally not done. This is like a dream come true that she's gonna come and decorate my house because I have lived in some really not the greatest places. One place like the shower wall would be falling down and you'd have to like push it back up. So, yeah. But let me show you guys my old bedroom tour. Never before seen footage of my old bedroom tour. Prepare. Don't be alarmed at Bright Red Hair Candy. She's about to hit you in three, two, one. After many years, I realized I have not done a bedroom tour since I very first started YouTube in my old house and my room looked totally different. We are going to show you a whole tour, where I got everything, different decorations, where they came from, how I got inspired. Come to my room. So first, I think we should head out to the hallway. Are you kidding me? I just locked. This is a rookie's bedroom tour move. I locked myself out of my room. I don't even know how I did that. Take two, let's try this again. And then now we'll try opening my door handle and it's unlocked, hooray! Let's go into my room, shall we? Here is my room, that goes to my closet. That needs like to be a separate tour. Um, this, I think I got this vase at Home Goods with those flowers, so that's when you first walk in. Then as we turn the corner, we have my bed. There's me in the mirror. Um, so this is my bed, and then I cannot remember where I got the mirrored nightstand tables. Um, I have no idea, I got them some years ago. Um, but we can go through everything. So first we'll go over to my side table. And these big white mirrors, I got these at Home Goods, and I love them. Again, I think, I, I totally know, I got these lamps at Home Goods also. I got a matching one over there. And then over here, um, I have a DIY on how to make these flower balls. I also got this pink Eiffel Tower. You'll see another one on my dresser. I got those at Target. They were like a Valentine's Day thing. 
This is definitely a home goods purchase, this vase. Um, this I got at a little antique flea market, this little glittery crown. And then these flowers I got at, I think I got at Pier 1 or I got them at Michael's Crafts. And I just cut them up and put them at different heights in that little guy because I just love flowers. And then we move over to, let's go down to this little footstool thing. So this little footstool bench, this pink chair, and also my pink couch, I got at um, a custom furniture making place. I can't remember what they're called. Um, but then this headboard I got at Room Service LA. And it's velvet, and I had the color, um, I had him custom do this color. Um, you can pick swatches. It's like where your interior designers go to um, basically like design furniture for rooms. So you pick the color swatches you want and then you pick that to be made. And it takes like a few months, but I feel like it's worth it because I love this. It is like my one of my most favorite pieces of furniture I've ever purchased in my life. I just feel like a princess sleeping in this bed and I love it. I love it so, 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 so much. Also, the little Bali light guys, I got those at Target. They're just rose florette lights, and it's two sets of them. I just lace them. I just think they look fun, and they light up at night, and it's like really glowy at night, and I love it. Then we'll go over here to my nightstand here. So here on my nightstand, I have, um, this is a little antique mirror. Um, this is another thing I got at a little like flea market antique store. I didn't plug him in, though. I have some magazines down there on the floor and notebooks. Um, here I have this little glittery bird. I just love him. I got this purse. This was a present and it's just like all diamondy and I love it. I want to say this was like a Christmas decoration. Let's see if it tells us where it's from on the bottom. Um, it's either from Home Goods or Pier One. I want to say it's from Home Goods. I get so many things from Home Goods. This little dish was from Target. I always keep my chapstick next to my bed because I'm like a chapstick fanatic. This is a little antique guy. I just love the milk glass. And then I think I got him at Target too. And then that's the matching mirror from Home Goods also. And then I just have like white sheets, a little white duvet cover, and a little white um, duster. Uh, I just think it's easy to clean and it looks really pretty to me. So this is my my bed where all my sleeping magic happens or I've edited in that bed also. Then we go over here and we have a totally different view. So this is my TV where I don't watch too much TV in here, but this is my dresser. So this dresser has a tail. I bought him and I was gonna paint it all white. So I started to paint him white in these pink drawers and that was right before I had Ellie and then I um, like went into labor to have her a couple of days later so I never finished it. It has handles, this is so embarrassing. And like I have my nail polishes and stuff in here but these obviously I can't open because they don't have the handles. The door, And it has little doors to close. I need to go find those again. But here on my dresser I have these candle holders, these cool metallic candles. I have no idea where I got them, I cannot remember. And this glittery one I got at a gift shop a long time ago. So these I've had forever from Pier 1 and they were white and I just painted him to look like kind of washed, these turquoisey blue colors. And then this again is Home Goods. These flowers I think are from Michael's Target Eiffel Tower. Um, this Bambi deer, he has a special story. I was doing my Glaminars and I was walking around the town and I saw him in a vintage store and I posted that I liked him but I didn't get to buy him. And then at the Glaminar, one of the girls that came that watched my videos that has just an amazing story. Uh, her name is Eve and she brought him to me. She found the story and she brought him to me and I love him. And she has a matching one too. So he's, he stays on my little dresser because I love him. And then over here, these guys have special stories too. Since I was little, my mom would always shop at vintage and antique stores and I hated it as a kid. I hated going to the antique store. I was like, no. No, we're not going to the antique store again. But as I got older, I love it. Like I love thrift stores, I love vintage stores, I love antique stores, I love hunting for treasures. So this is a cool, I got him at a vintage shop. I just love his color, I love the design and the shape, and it's just been one of my favorite things I've had for years and years and years and years. I mean, as a teenager, I was like hunting for things in thrift stores and vintage stores. Um, he was a little ornament for Christmas. 
I just got these little flower petals because I liked it. I love setting up like room scenarios and decorations in my room since I was a kid. And then this, I just love this purse. It's from Skinny Dip from London. I just think it's pretty and sparkly. And then she is my precious treasure. Um, I got her and her matching partner. I don't know where he is. He's still maybe packed away in my garage, but I have had her for years and I just, I love her. I got her at an antique store. And then we'll go over to this is like lots of sitting area on my room. So this pink chair has these little comfy pillows, little flowers, and then again, this is another antique chair that I got. I just love its yellow velvet and he's just beautiful. And those pillows, um, they're maybe from Home Goods too. I know this round guy, he's from Pier 1 Imports. So this is my room. And then I'll show you a peek at my bathroom because it doesn't really have a door. It just kind of goes in to my bathroom, so um, here's my bathtub. Um, these little white guys I got, those at Home Goods. This is from World Market, and I just put my little washcloth there. And then, oh my gosh, this is so sad. This is a vintage mirror I got at an antique store, and I was trying to take pictures one day for a video thumbnail, and he broke. I broke him. I need to get him fixed. He's antique mirror and that Lucite, it's so cool. And that's my shower, but that's where all the cleaning happens. And then we go over here to my makeup table. So I have this little Bose sound system because I love listening to music when I'm getting ready and taking a shower. I got this lipstick holder. This is from um, Luxbox and it is so cool. I keep my little brushes there. Here's just my daily essentials, my lip defoul, and then um, my YSL foundation. Um, then over here I have more. My makeup tour would be a whole separate tour, so we won't even get into like makeup tour world. And then over here is my other side of my bathroom where I have my very, very, very favorite perfume, my um, Sud Pacifique Vanilla Extreme, and then just some fun little, little things like that. Oh, and then just to keep it real, so I just got home and that is my Zuka bag explosion with all my makeup because I was filming some videos today. So that is just me undoing my Zuka bag. And I thought it'd be fun to show you my room at night with all the lights. So there we are with all of our lights, our night area. And then before I go to bed, it looks more like this. And this is how I go to get in my bed. So that was it for my room tour video, guys. Let me know what you think. What was your favorite part? I hope you guys love it. Make sure you subscribe. You can check out my other channel, Candyland, and see more. Follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, everywhere. I'm just at Candy Johnson. So come stalk me. Follow me. Let me be your virtual BFF. Huge hug. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah!